1 Corinthians chapter 2, we read, And when I came to you, brothers, I did not come proclaiming to you the testimony of God with lofty speech and wisdom. For I decided to know nothing among you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. And I was with you in weakness and in fear and much trembling. And my speech and my message were not in plausible words of wisdom, but in demonstration of the Spirit and of, the, and of power, so that your faith may not rest in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. The power of God, the power of the Spirit, the demonstration of the Spirit that Paul is talking about was the ability of a message about Christ crucified, the Son of God crucified, crucified for the sins of the world, buried, buried dead in a tomb and risen from the dead. These are not plausible words. They're not words that anyone would make up and try to sell a religion. These words were the truth. And so Paul had much fear and trembling that perhaps he would be among the Corinthians and get nothing out of it. Maybe no one would come to faith, but he determined not to use his rhetoric, not to use the power of his understanding of how language works and how to convince people to do things they don't want to do. No, he decided to preach only Christ Jesus crucified. And through that message, the Holy Spirit demonstrated his power in converting the souls of unbelieving people. That's the demonstration of the power. And that's why he says, so that your faith may not rest in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. In other words, in God's ability to give us faith. Now, of course, the Apostle Paul did do miracles among them, but we have to be careful, I think, in associating the performance of miracles as the demonstration of power, because then it would appear as if that the reason why people were converted to faith in Jesus Christ was because they saw something stupendous and outlandish. No, I believe the best understanding of the text, given its context, that the Apostle Paul re refused to use any kind of trickery, any kind of manipulation, is that the demonstration of the power of the Spirit is that the message of D Jesus converts the soul. Now that same message continues to give you and I faith. The, the power of the Spirit is in this message of the Lord Jesus Christ. He uses this message, this story, this truth of the Son of God crucified and risen again for our sakes to give us the one true faith. That's why we continue in it. And that's why we study it. And that's why we read it all the time. For there is the sustaining power of the Lord.